a baby is born, she has just one way to let her caregiver know she has a need. To cry. She can't raise her hand or send mom a text, just cry. And in fact, it is so important that her cry be heard, her stress response will activate and give her the extra energy to cry harder. It's actually a matter of life or death. If no adult ever comes, a baby will die. She cannot meet her own needs. In an ideal world, when baby cries, her mom or her caregiver will come and nurturingly meet that need. Then another system in baby will activate that'll help calm her down and she'll relax again. This cycle happening hundreds of times in a baby's first year of life is the basis for secure attachment. Baby had a need, a nurturing caregiver came and met the need. This baby learns, I can trust adults. I can count on you to meet my needs. Unfortunately, the world is not ideal. When some of our babies cried, no one responded or someone came and hurt them. These babies learn, I can't trust adults. And if I cannot count on you to meet my need, I have to survive, I've got to count on me. The survival strategies that children learn to survive in the world look like bad behavior, but what they are is adaptive behavior. These survival strategies are manipulation, triangulation, verbal aggression, physical violence, and control. What can we do? First, we understand that our children's survival strategies are not willful disobedience. When we see these as willful disobedience, we're likely to react to the behavior rather than address it with a regulated response. Second, we don't take it personally. When we do, it's harder to stay connected. And third, we work with our children during the calm times to teach them healthy relational skills and positive ways to get their needs met. Remember, children from hard places have learned they can only trust themselves. Seeing survival strategy as adaptive behavior rather than willful disobedience allows us to stay connected so that we can teach new healthy strategies.